Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another attempt at the New York Times Hard Sudoku on Thursday, June 20th. I have two ones in rows one and three. I can place a one in row two in two places, both in box three, based on the relative positions of the other ones. In the bottom and middle three rows, I get a five immediately, which I can't do anything else with because I don't have a five in column seven or eight. In the bottom three rows, I get an eight in two spots in box eight, row nine. If I switch to columns, I get one in column two, box seven. I'll get a five in three places in column six, box eight. A nine in three place in two places in column and box number five. And on the right, I'm going to get an eight in two spots in box three, column eight. But I think that's all I get. Let's see. There's a six crossing on box two. These two and that one are ruled out by the six in column five and row three. I don't quite have a crossing on, and I'll do, well, I do have an eights already. I thought I had a crossing on five in box three, but I don't. I still have three places for it. Let's see, three comes down in two spots in box six, column nine. But I have nothing else to go with it. Hmm. Well, let's try row six, which has five digits, and I think the only one with five, maybe even the only one with four at this point. Not quite, but close. I need three, four, seven, and nine to fill out the row. It would help if I was in the right mode. I don't have much luck with it. In column four, I have one, five, eight, nine placed. I need two, three, four, six, seven to fill out. Uh, it sees two and six in the box, and these ones, two, three, four, six, seven. That one takes out. Not enough digits to make a three, four, seven triple, or really anything else. I have three fourths of a three, four, seven, nine in box five, but I don't think I'll get the rest. Nope, I've got too many possibilities, particularly in the central cell. But this can't be one, and these can't be one. Oh, I totally missed that one of those had to be one when I was doing my row scanning. In column three, in column three, I have one, three, five, eight already placed. Actually, okay, those can't be six, and this can't be six. Neither can that. So six in column three is actually a hidden single digit. This allows me to place a six in box four straight away. How many sixes do I have? Just five of them. And not enough to really make a dent anywhere else because I've got that six on the diagonal in box two and until I get that resolved I can't really place any of the other ones but these can't be two these can't be two I have a virtual two that's been placed in row four box four 
this allows me to place one in row 5, box 6. In box 6, I have 1, 5, 6, and 8. I need 2, 3, 4, 7, and 9 in some order. Which, when I finish cleaning up, is not going to help me a whole lot. In box 2, I have 1, 5, 8, and 9 already. Clean this up. This D6 and 7. Both of those C3 and 4, and that could be interesting later on. This D2 and that C6. Yeah. Yeah, watch row 1 for a possible 267 triple. The rest of the row has 1, 3, 4, 8 already placed. I need 2, 5, 6, 7, 9. Those two are 2, 5, and 9 because neither can be 6 or 7. And that one isn't 6. Unfortunately, it doesn't finish. And well, wait a minute. Okay, this is interesting. So there's a hidden 3, 8 pair that I just discovered in box 1. These two cells can't be 3 or 8 because of the 3, 8 in the column. These two cells can't be 3, 8 because of the 3, 8 in row 1. So, 5 must go here in the box, and therefore that one isn't 5. 4 must go there at the right, center, and lower right of column 3, box 1, and therefore is not in either of those two spots. Hmm. Now, the remaining cells in box 4 are not 1, 5, or 6. And I have absolutely no help the rest of the way. But these, oh, seven has to be in one of those. Okay, these can't be seven, so one of those, one of these two is. Two, three, six, and eight. In box 7 means I need 1, 4, 5, 7, 9 in some order. I'm not going to have much help. Let's see. These 6 cells can be anything but 3 or 4. Those two aren't seven or eight by column. None of those are nine by row. Neither of these are six by column. All three of these can't be one or five. Uh, there we go. That's what I was wanting to see. I have a 279 triple, but not in the same row or column of box 3, and that means that one's an 8. Let's see. Neither of these are 2. So this, I'm now down to a 1, 5, 6 in row 2, which is going to do a lot. Namely, that's not 6, and that places the 6 in box 2. And 2, 3, 4, of course, is left as its own triple in row 2. Now, 
These aren't three, these aren't eight. And what do I have to go with? Not much. Let's see, there's only two boxes I have yet to fill in. Box nine can be anything but seven or eight. Let's see. Either of those are two. None of these are six. Neither of those are three or five. Okay, this can't be three, that can't be three, and this is one and four by column, and I have not much. Ooh. Okay, that leaves box eight. That's the only thing left to fill. And I still haven't placed anything other than the nine that we knew about. Now, none of these are five or six. Neither of those two are seven or eight. This isn't two. Neither this one nor that one are three or eight. Now these are two. Let's see, six by column, as does that one, as does that one. Okay, so I'm left with a different configuration than what I had the last time I tried this. <clears throat> I've got two, four, seven, nine, and two, five, seven, nine interacting in box one, row one, and column three. But I've got what appears to be a 1459 hidden quad in column 2 when I filled everything out because 2 and 8 can only appear in two other spots. And in fact, 8 and 2 are both hidden singles. Now that does a lot because that will finish row 1, which in turn will finish box 1, and that should do the top third of the grid. Yep. finish column three first. Those aren't two. We know this isn't. These aren't seven. These aren't four. That's not eight. Oh look, we have a three, four, seven triple in box five that I just discovered, that place is a nine. This can't be three or four. This can't be three or seven. Well, one eight. That's left, which is not going to help me at all. Okay, neither of those are two. I can clean up the nines from column eight, the sevens from column nine, and the nines from column eight, box nine, and the fours from column six, box eight. And then I can see that the nine in row six will place the four, which will do a lot. This can't be nine anymore. Three to fill out row six, and that'll finish box five. Which will also finish out column four, and thus column one. I think the last time I tried this, I had an error somewhere on the left. Three columns, because I should 
be at a point where I can get the rest of this now. <laughs> yeah, there's a hidden six in column nine. There's only one space for it. I'll fill out the rest of row two. Let's see, uh, two, four, five in column eight is a triple. We'll place the three and thus the nine and that'll finish box six. Which will finish column nine and I believe all I'm doing at this point is filling in digits. That has to be an eight, that finishes one eight in row five. We'll finish column six, and yep, at this point, I'm done. And 16 minutes, I'll take it.